How you doing guys? Um, I hope everybody's well. So today the video is going to be a little bit different to some of the ones that I've done in the past because uh, I really want to go through a bit more of a, uh, a tutorial with you so that you can really kind of understand something. Um, and so today we're going to be looking at mobility training and where to start with this because maybe some of you don't really have it in your daily routine and you know you might see a lot of videos online and you don't really know where to start with it so i'm just going to give you a few tips um, and some advice on, on where to begin and we can go from there so remember mobility training is all about getting the body moving getting it uh, kind of being flexible and uh, trying to stretch out the muscles but in a more dynamic fashion so we're not trying to hold a position you know for example going like this and statically holding it we want to try to have a bit of mobility so it's all about movement and i think the best place to start is with our spine because the spine and our back is where most people get a lot of problems and it's where we carry a lot of stress and tension throughout our day so I want to you know get that moving and start there and then we can start to move on to something like the hips or the knees or shoulders elbows whatever else the problem it might be but it's the back and the spine is a good place to start so we do this for several reasons um, for me I like to do it just because I find it it keeps me supple keeps me flexible um, and that makes me stress-free. For some of you, you may have back pain, uh, which this is also going to be very beneficial for you, or you may be recovering from an injury, um, or you may just not be very flexible in your spine and you may be sat for most of your day at work, and that's going to be an issue for you, maybe not now, but maybe in the future. So it's really good to you know, start doing this every day and every day is the best way to do it. Now you're not going to see results on day one, but you might feel a bit better. That might be good. But after, you know, let's say 30 days, if you did this every day, then you're going to start to feel the benefits. So the first um, pose that we're going to have a look at is called the cow camel. Yeah, for some of you, some of you may know it as a cat cow. It depends, it's got different names, but basically all you'll do is you'll start on all fours, yeah, on like this, yeah, and I'm pushing my weight down into my hands, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to roll my back down, like so, and then roll my back up again yeah so here I'm extending my back extending my spine and flexing the spine here now the rate in which we do this we want to try to go through it slowly yeah that one was quite fast you can see I'm just kind of put going through the motion but you really want to spend your time doing this and get through it one vertebrae at a time so for example start in this position and then i'm just one vertebrae at a time starting from the bottom i'm just going to really try to push each vertebrae one by one maybe the third one the fourth one breathing all the time like so and then start to work my way back down Okay, 
Now, you want to be doing this, if you can, maybe five, six, as many as you can really. If you, some of you are going to struggle because some of you, you're, you know, you're going to feel like your back is kind of glued together. Yeah, some of times in severe cases, you're going to feel like those uh, vertebrae are, are fused. So taking your time to really feel each vertebrae coming apart one, one at a time is going to be so beneficial and you're going to feel great after, you know, as I say, a few days, maybe 30 days, and then you'll get the real results. So take your time and just do it one one vertebrae at a time if you can. But that's just one maneuver. So as I say, we call that the camel cow or cow camel, whichever way around you want to call it, um, for obvious reasons. But that just makes us move in one plane. And I've talked about this in one of my other videos. Our body doesn't just move in one direction. It moves in many different directions. And so this is, a, a flexion and an extension movement so just moving if you look at it from the side you can see that flexion and extension movement but if you were from the front now you can't really see much movement so from this side from the front i'm going to use a different maneuver now this maneuver is going to have a little bit of what will feel like rotation in your spine but because we're looking at from the front you're going to see one side come down and one side come up right so actually it's an adduction so something moving up and away and an adduction coming in yeah towards the body so as i go through this movement you're going to see one side come up, one side come down. I'm just going to spin this around so you can really see. So again, I'm coming onto all fours, but I'm more sitting down on the back of my feet. Sitting down on the back of my feet with my hands down here. Now, all I want to do with one hand I'm going to reach it through the gap, through the hole. Try and get my shoulder onto the ground if I can. And then with this hand, I'm going to lift up. And if I'm feeling like I'm really flexible, extend the hand and reach as far as I can. And then I'll come back down and I'll switch across. And as I go through each movement, I'm just keep, I have to keep breathing. Yeah. Don't hold your breath through any of these movements. As you breathe, your body is moving all the time. It's starting to relax into the motion a little bit more. That's going to give you a little bit more stretch, a little bit more push into each one. So we don't hold it for very long. If I come up, you know, I come round, reaching up. Big breaths, and then back through. So I'm really not holding it for very long at all. And again, we're just trying to do this, you know, six times is gonna be good. Um, so I start with the cow camel, then I move into this rotation or adduction abduction movement um, where I'm reaching and really getting a good twist through the side. Now another one we want to look at is trying to extend and stretch out our lats. Yep so these big muscles that are running down the side of my back here. So this is a really really nice one. I love this maneuver. So all I'm going to do from this kneeling position and I'm just going to start to come forwards into child's pose 
Now, I'm trying to reach my hands out as far as possible. And from here, I can already feel some stretch down the side. Yep, I'm just gonna twist this so you can see a little bit better. So, really stretching out. If I want to get even deeper, yep, I'll just stretch my legs apart, my knees apart. I can get really deep into there. But to add a little bit more stretch, I'm just gonna start to move myself to the side. So from here, just going to walk my fingers across as much as I can, sliding, reaching. And again, we're trying to breathe as deep as we can. I'm breathing hard kind of underneath my armpit, breathing down into that space, breathing out hard through my nose and breathe, breathe it all out. You can really I can go a bit further. And then again, sliding across. So that's a really good stretch for those lats on the side. Now, these three moves are a really good place to start. So cow camel, that's going to bring you that flexion and extension in the back. That reaching through, okay, you're starting to kind of look at these, this upper part of the back, especially if you're reaching through and turning your head as trying to look up to the ceiling, you're gonna find that you can really get a nice um, kind of rotation movement in that neck, yeah, and that top part of the spine. And then this stretching one side to the other is gonna be stretching out these lats on the side. You're gonna feel a big, deep stretch through there. Um, but it's also, if you think at the lower part of the back, yeah, as you're stretching across, it's gonna be pulling all of this up as well. So we're even getting maybe into the glutes as well on, on the backside. So just pulling everything. So nothing is really just one muscle. And this is what I really want to try and get across to you guys. Everything's attached together. Yeah, so the spine is attaching into the, into the pelvis. Yeah, which is gonna have an effect on the legs the knees it all connects right so when you think all right i'm just going to stretch this one muscle it doesn't work that way yeah there's more to it everything's connected everything's moving and um, so with mobility training and movements and flows you're really going to start to feel the benefits not just in the spine if you're doing these movements but in the shoulders in the hips in the legs everywhere so start with these and then we can progress through into something uh, you know we might start to think all right how, how can we take that focus because we're focusing on that spine but how can we focus a little bit more on the hips next all right so keep your eyes open and we'll uh, I'll do a video on some hip stuff um, and you can try and, and try some of those ones but remember six maybe to 10 times for each each exercise for those three. See how you feel um, after trying them for about 30 days. And then, um, yeah, let me know what you think. All right, I'll see you guys soon.